Hello folks, RJ Curran with the World Cup Preview of 2018. Thursday's matches start off with Group H, one of those groups that is very, very hard to call. Before the World Cup started, everyone thought that the Poles or the Poland would do really, really well, but they've been having a very absolutely horrific World Cup, becoming the first European nation to be eliminated from the World Cup 2018. Japan, the Blue Samurai, got a little lucky against Colombia when they faced off against 10 men, but the Colombians took the sword to the Polish people, 3-0 with wonderful display from not only Radamel Falcao because he's getting that space that he loves and also James Rodriguez who's been involved in the last 14 World Cup goals for uh, Colombia. I think he scored six or last 10 of the 14 World Cup goals uh, for Colombia. This one is a very tough one to call. Japan know that a draw takes him into the knockout stages. Colombia knows that if you get three points against the Senegalese team, that will knock out the African nation and send them as group leaders towards the knockout rounds to face off whoever is second place in Group G, which could either be England or Belgium. I kind of hope for England, but nonetheless, let's continue talking about the other game. Senegal, Senegal, Senegal. Senegal, unfortunately for Sadio Mane and Co, even though they have one of the youngest, I forget his name, uh, teenagers who scored a World Cup, Senegal have not been able to keep a clean sheet since 2002 when they kept it against then World Cup champions, defending champions France. So we know that they concede goals. This group has allowed at least three goals in each of the games. So we know there's goals in the game. Senegal, obviously knowing that they need to win, could play it either two ways. They like to play counter-attacking football. They'll probably try to soak up the pressure from Colombia and then hit them on the break with the pace that they have. And I think they have a lot of pace. The Colombians do have a pretty good defense. We saw that not only against Japan when they defended against 10 men, but against Poland as well. They neutralized Poland completely. They didn't allow Poland to play their game in their final third, in their defensive half. So we know Colombia is very, very good. And going forward, they are creative. Obviously, you talk about Cardado, you talk about James Rodriguez, and you talk about Radamal Falcao having that wonderful freedom to go forward and get those wonderful finishes. I have a feeling it's going to be very tough for Senegal because Colombia is going to win this one but then again who knows it's the world cup 2018 i don't know if anyone's been calling it right i know i haven't so i'm probably going to say sending all the way no i'm changing it back colombia is going to win i back colombia to win poland to defeat poland i think they're going to win again the blue samurai talk about the blue samurai when they started off getting three points against colombia everyone was like what in Hawaii, they're takashi in Hawaii, getting three goals in the last three games uh, or last three shots that he had for Japan, scored a wonderful goal in his last game against Senegal. They did really well going behind twice and then coming back to get a draw against Senegal. They did face very well against Colombia as well, against the 10 men. Against Poland, they have a Polish side that obviously is deflated, completely deflated, and would be looking for pride. What does the Japanese do? The Blue Samurai have the technical ability, as well as one player that I adore, Shinji Kagawa, straight in that midfield, as well as Kazuki Honda, who plays really well down on the left, and you can't give out Inouye as well, who plays really well for the Blue Samurai. The Blue Samurai know they just need a draw. So you might have a feeling that this is going to be kind of game where you don't see a lot of goals, and Japan maybe in the last 15-20 minutes nick it. Poland though, if you want to give everyone a cheer, go for it. Go for the jugular for Japan. Put Japan under pressure, although they'll change the kind of game for Colombia and Senegal. I have a feeling that the Japanese will get a draw, and I have a feeling that Colombia will win. This is RJ Coram for FN91.